Hello. Right, here we go. Joke number one. When she was leaving, I said, what are you leaving for? And she said, I'm leaving because I like the simple things in life, but I don't want to end up married to one. <laughs> She didn't say that. She just fucked off. <laughs> I don't want to go back into your bedroom anymore. So I just stay awake all night, watching films and listening to music. But every song seems to have been written about her. And every film seems to have a character in it that reminds me of. So one night I thought I'd just watch the most unromantic film that I owned, which was Scum. <laughs> I thought that'd be a pretty safe bet. It just reminded me of that time that I bombed her in the greenhouse. <laughs> right, let's try something else. Let's try some audience interaction. Who wants to talk to me? <laughs> you. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, Kate, have you ever had your heart broken before? Yeah? Did you have to take antidepressants? <laughs> you did? What were you on? Sertraline? Same as me! <laughs> Is that your boyfriend? Alright, I'll forget that. Doing that. Ladies and gentlemen, I have come here to try my new material. Because this is rough works, and I'm gonna work it, and it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers like music. Y'all like that shit. Tough time for music, ladies and gentlemen. HMV's going down to pain. Now let's say it. But I ain't surprised. Ain't nobody buy that shit no more. I ain't bought a CD since 2003. <laughs> People's been coming up to me and they be like, hey Andy, who's your favorite band? I say, motherfucker, bro band. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers like alternative comedy? <laughs> That's right, it's the same as normal comedy, but no motherfucker laughs at the end. <laughs> Hello, my friends. <laughs> Children of the night. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking he's no from bloody round here, eh? <laughs> and I'm here because I was inspired, because I was watching Live at the Apollo, and Josh Whittacombe came on. And I thought, I wish that I was fucking dead. <laughs> you, uh, what's your name, mate? You had a nice weekend, Terry? Yeah. I've, got, I've got to address you. Where did you get that t-shirt from? Uh, that's right. That's got to be from that. That's, 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 that's not how you do that. Audience interaction. Watch the master. Who are you doing? Sitting there, arsehole. <laughs> Quick, witty. That's what they want. I think, uh, I think that's... What was that? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> There's so many different genres of music, ladies and gentlemen. So many different genres. One genre of music was invented right here in Birmingham, England. Any of y'all know what fucking genre of music was invented in Birmingham, England? Any of y'all know that? That's right. <laughs> Reggae music, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Reggae music was invented in Birmingham, England in 1981 by UB40. <laughs> Believe that shit. What, what, what kind of comedy is he's normally like? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>